So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning-fast kicks coming in here tonight. This guy has ridiculously powerful kicks. This is the one thing his opponent needs to absolutely avoid if he hopes to achieve victory in this fight. Training at the American Kickboxing Academy under Javier Mendez and, of course, under the leadership of his father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Here is Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is not a man you want on top of you. This is not a man you want to get punched in the face by. Plus skills in all areas of mixed martial arts for the Dagestan Russian-born Khabib, the Eagle Nurmagomedov, who is putting together one of the greatest legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, Dean. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler with a professional record now. 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena. You begin your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. And we are underway. That's a hard hook. He's picking him apart. Vicious punch combinations here. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Nice left to the body. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Nice front kick to the body. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Good punch. 
straight punch. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Good exchanges from both fighters. He's looking for that elbow. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. right hand. Body kick, look at that. Nice slip to avoid the left. That one hurt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medoff. Big punch. That's a nice clean shot. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Head off the center line, slips the punch. He connects with the punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Nermago Medov. Just over two minutes to go. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Ninety seconds and counting here in our opening round. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Blocks the shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Nervago Medov gets tattooed by that straight punch. Nice jab. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. He landed that punch flush. Connects with the punch there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Straight right, he misses. That landed. He blocks the punch. Oh, well placed with the uppercut there. Nermago Medov's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, there's a hook, it lands. That hurt oh, sounds God. means we have reached the end of round one. Here's a body kick. Here we see a beautifully timed kick connects flush. Here we see an excellent kick connects flush with perfect timing. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one a little oh, bit. Oh, he had him. He is in trouble. Oh, very nice.
about that shin. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Huge uppercut misses. Nurmagomedov's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Landed that one. Watch the shot here, Joe. Slips that left hand. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, nice straight left there. Oh, there's that straight left again. Excellent job of landing punches here. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, big right hand. huge right hand! He is hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, huge block. Connects there with the punch. Oh. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Slips the punch nicely there. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch there by Nermago Medov. Oh, blocks the shot. Lands the jab. Oh, he hit him with a big knee. Missed that shot. And he connects there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Couldn't agree with you more. Marco Medov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Effective with the jab. Beautiful kick there. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Right on the button. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. He faints with the kick. Under a minute now to go. Constantly a moving target. Whiffs on the right hand. 45 seconds remain in the round. He got tagged there. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, you! Oh, he's got him hurt here. Oh! Body kick! Look at that. Ten seconds remain in round two. Nice left left kick to the body. All right, round three coming up next. Let's look at that from a different angle.
And let's see that from another angle. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. How about that shin? Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Slips the punch. Well, it took him a little bit of time to find his timing, find the range. He has found it now. He continues to connect with a series of strikes. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Joe, that is one well-timed overhand by the Mongol Oh, he gets straight left. Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Nice counter right hand. Body kick, look at that. Well, now you're really starting to see the damage, Joe, on the outside of that left thigh. Obvious signs of bruising now. Oh! He's definitely blocked. Oh! oh big shot. Oh! Oh, he hit him with a big uppercut. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, that's... Oh! He got hurt very, very badly. Oh, he tagged him! Oh! Hard straight punch. Oh! Oh! He's oh! Out. That's it! He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here we see it again. Ba-boom! And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends.